and Brent joining me in the book nook. How are you today, sir? I'm very well. I'm a guest. Yeah, I see that. You look so official with the vest. Yeah, I feel the, like I'm in the, the, Pen the Pentagon. There it's like, you, you go. know, alien invasion is happening. Uh, we're Mr. President. You know, as long as you tell us what's <laughs> yes, going on. Yes, I will, I will take care of everything. <laughs> well, you definitely are the expert on all of uh, what we have here. We have a lot of stuff here today. A lot of stuff today. Do you remember the Da Vinci Code? Yes. Dan Brown? Yes. Finally, there is a sequel out. Okay. Up to that, uh, and, and it's part of that series. It's called Inferno, and it, once again, it's a globe-trotting adventure with secret codes and running around trying to avert huge calamity. You know? So they'll probably make a movie out of this too. I, I'm I'm sure Tom Hanks has already signed up for probably it. Probably. I mean, so. I don't know for a fact, but I. I I imagine. Kind of, uh, I guess, a good guess to make. <laughs> yes, I think it's a safe guess. Yes. Yeah. What about the right here? Well, this is actually Charlene Harris's last Snooky, Snooky Stackhouse novel, which is, of course, inspired the True Blood series. She's actually ending the book series, oh. but the TV series is still going on. Now, she had mentioned that what, what they've happened with the series is that they've gone on their own direction to the point that really her character and her character are different characters now. So she's, because mm. her, their Snooky, or the show Snooky is a little more angry, hers is not. She decided to go ahead and what she calls the final book. And, you know, it's always one of those things. Yeah, we'll see. But yeah. she wants to give it a good ending. Okay. A lot of people are probably excited about yes, this. A lot very of much the so. fan base there is huge. Yes. And what are we talking about here? This actually is sort of a Star Wars Begins novel. It's about the, the early, 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 early days of the Jedi Knight. Oh, cool. To where it's almost like the beginning of the Star Wars saga. And it's written by a really well known fantasy writer. And it's a really fun book. All right, I, a lot of people will be excited about that. Yes. It's just you can never have too much Star Wars. Never, never, never. And this is the School of Good and Evil, and it's interesting. It's sort of it's a novel that seems to be in the style of a Japanese ma uh, manga fantasy sort of thing where you have this school where you have the, the good students and the evil students all going to high school together. Oh, that could yeah, cause well, yeah, problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but it was like, you go, that's high school. Yeah. Isn't, it, isn't that well, high school? That is. That's, that's real life for sure. Moving on to our uh, music, our tunes. Yes, Vampire Weekend's third album called Modern Vampires in the C City. They call it actually a third in a trilogy, which I don't know if that means they're going to change their sound in their next album. But they certainly have um, kind of evolved their sound to a point to where it's gotten better with each album. They do a really poppy rock, and they really have a very, very devoted fan base. All right, pretty cool. And uh, speaking of fan base, Demi Lovato kind of reinventing herself on I, X Factor. Really, uh, and Demi Lovato is a really, really good singer, and she's talking about all these different changes in her life now that she's clean and sober. Mm -hmm. She's talking about how... A lot of her friends don't hang out with her anymore because she has a whole different sort of thing going on with her life. And so she's trying to reflect that with mature, you know. Kind of it, a positive it, Yes, yes. Outlook. Yeah, that's that, good. Yeah. Interesting, uh, positive music. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have the Great Gatsby soundtrack, which is a really, really fun album. You, you saw the movie. I did see the movie. And I, of course, uh, I, when I heard that uh, Jay. Jay-Z Jay -Z. did a lot of the mm -hmm. producing and the mm -hmm. music. I thought, how is that going to work? Mm -hmm. But they mix it all in. Well, there's some really funny, fun stuff in there. There's Florence and the Machine. Yeah. You've got Beyonce. You've got just different artists. And they go from doing uh, straight-up hip-hop to more period 20s jazz. Which and I all think that's is, on there? All that's okay. on there. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty And then, cool. of course, the last one is uh, Now 46, which basically is the <laughs> most recent top 40 hits. And you've got everyone from Bruno Mars to Ludacris to, of course, Pink. Yeah. You know? Oh, you gotta have pink in there. Gotta have pink, pink in there. You know, on American Idol, they sang like three pink songs just last week. Mm -hmm. As a pink fan, I was probably I was pretty excited. about You know, that. and I am a pink <laughs> fan myself. I gotta say, Pink really um, deserves a lot more credit than she gets. I think for influencing so many artists out there. Yeah, I think it's kind of like sneaks in there, and then obviously when mm -hmm. it popped up on American Idol, mm -hmm. I was like, wow. Mm -hmm. So all of these we can find uh, at Barnes and Noble. At Barnes and Noble, in both uh, the book floor and in our music department, we also have uh, DVDs and Blu-rays and. Uh, whole bunch of neat stuff. You really have a, many different things, interactive things for the kiddos, oh, all we have, that. We have games, we have puzzles, we have a cafe that serves cheesecake, as well as Starbucks mm, coffee. And coffee, yeah. And coffee, and pizza. All right, pretty cool. Yeah. Thanks, Brent, we appreciate Thank that. Thank you very much.